Welcome to the Navy's newscast for Thursday, November 30th, 2023. I'm Donna Wilkinson Keynes. Permanent Secretary in the Premier's Ministry, Wakely Daniel, was a part of the delegation led by Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis, the Honorable Dr. Terence Drew, to the recent CARICOM Saudi Arabia summit. Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Mark Grantley, made the disclosure at his November 23rd press conference. Let me commend the Honorable Prime Minister, Dr. Drew. He, he led a recent delegation to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia as part of the summit that was convened between CARICOM and Saudi Arabia. And he called me and he asked me to suggest to him someone from the island of Nevis that could accompany him and his delegation. And I'm very happy, ladies and gentlemen, to report that our own PS, who's here this morning, PS Wakely Daniel, was asked to make that very, very long trip to Saudi Arabia. And he went and he has reported that the trip went extremely well. And part of the reason that he went was to present our geothermal project to the Saudi government with the hope that we can secure funding for that project to bring that project to completion. And so I want to thank P.S. Daniel for making that trip. He has been a model public servant, always willing to do what he's asked to do for the benefit of the island and I'm truly grateful to him. I record my gratitude, Mr. Daniel, to you and for you to make that trip. I recall it was on short notice that I called you and you nevertheless took on that responsibility and by all accounts acquitted yourself very well in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The CARICOM Saudi Arabia Summit, held on November 16th, aimed to underscore the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's economic ties with the CARICOM bloc and deliberate the efforts that will fortify partnerships and open new avenues for collaboration. Charmaine Howell of the Department of Information and Curlin Liebert of the Nevis Electricity Company Limited, Nevlek, recently represented the island at a capacity building workshop in Grenada on demystifying geothermal energy. The workshop conducted by the OECS from November 15th to 17th sought to empower key stakeholders to communicate effectively about geothermal energy, addressing misconceptions and fostering regional development. An OECS media release says the workshop responded to the pressing need for improved messaging and understanding in this specialized field. Its main objectives included promoting and informing the communication community about the GeoBuild program and geothermal energy in the OECS building institutional and technical capacity for communication techniques in geothermal energy development and initiating the development of relevant knowledge management and communication products for geothermal energy. The workshop is expected to result in improved knowledge management and public awareness of geothermal at national and regional levels, improved development of geothermal communication material, and enhanced regional coordination for geothermal energy communication. Still to come, St. Kitts and Nevis launches groundbreaking kidney transplant program. The details after this break. As a responsible taxpayer, you help to finance free health care at all health centers on Nevis. Thank you for putting country above self. This message was brought to you by the Inland Revenue Department, Nevis. Be a responsible citizen. Welcome back. Prime Minister and Minister of Health, the Honorable Dr. Terence Drew, officially launched a kidney or renal transplant program on Friday, November 24th. The historic launch took place during a special edition of HealthWise on ZIZ Radio and Television. During his opening statement, Prime Minister Drew emphasized the government's commitment to providing accessible health care to all citizens of St. Kitts and Nevis. He acknowledged the rising incidence of renal disease, attributing it to chronic conditions such as hypertension, diabetes, and obesity. Prime Minister Joe highlighted the cost-effectiveness and improved quality of life associated with renal transplants, positioning it as the preferred option over current dialysis treatments. He added that the program is exciting news, especially for those who need definitive treatment when it comes to end-stage renal disease. For the first time, St. Kitts and Nevis is at a point where the country can offer this to its people. 
And finally, as you are receiving your awards, men awardees, please remember that you know there are uh, there is a little boy somewhere in your life or not who is looking up to you. The Honorable Iseline Phillip, Junior Minister of Gender Affairs in the federal government, is calling on men in St. Kitts and Nevis to be positive role models for the next generation. She made a call at the inaugural International Men's Day National Awards Ceremony on Saturday, November 25th, when she congratulated the 19 men who were awarded for their contribution to nation building. Yeah, and of course, International Men's Day is really about honoring and recognizing you know, the men in our society who are doing really great work to contribute to the development of our federation. Uh, so the reality for us in this federation across the Caribbean is that we are starting to see there's a crisis in the boy child, where we're seeing uh, enrollment in educational institutions declining, we're seeing increase in juvenile, uh, juveniles, male juveniles in our criminal justice system. And so you're kind of questioning, where are the boys? Where are the boys who are supposed to turn into the men so that women like me can have men to marry? <laughs> right? Um, but, you know, because of that, I think, you know, we have to recognize that ceremonies like this are very important because it gives us the opportunity to highlight who those men are. The men in our society who are doing great things in different sectors and who have been consistent in their efforts to contribute to community and social development. Uh, and so I thought it was really important for us to invite them and for us to continue on with the tradition of, you know, awarding men in our societies who are doing great things, who are actually taking care of their health, who are contributing and becoming business entrepreneurs, contributing to education, and all of those great things that we know we need, particularly as we work towards building a strong society. And so, you know, please, you know, as you are receiving your awards, men awardees, please remember that, you know, there, are, there is a little boy somewhere in your life or not who is looking up to you. And so just know that whatever you're doing, that's the impact. The awardees were recognized for their contributions in the areas of community activism, creative economy, first response, entrepreneurship, sustainable development, education, as well as health and human services. Minister of Gender Affairs in the Nevis Island Administration, the Honorable Jan Elizabeth, described the ceremony as a significant occasion. And so this occasion is one of those times where we're taking out some time to recognize our men, the resilience that they have, the contributions that they have made to our society, and allow them to be celebrated so we're taking this opportunity to encourage men to take care of yourselves not just for yourself but for your family as well it is a significant occasion because we're doing it on a federal scale and that underscores the unity that we want within our local community as well as our federal community so those of you who journeyed over from the sister island of St. Kitts, it is such a pleasure to have you and we look forward to doing the reverse next year the event, which was held at the Malcolm Gishard Recreational Park in Nevis, was jointly hosted by the Departments of Gender Affairs in St. Kitts and Nevis. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, thank you for viewing.